Hi there, my name is Erica Taguchi Newton. I'm a fantasy artist and illustrator. Um, sorry for the quality of the video. It's uh, it's flashing because I didn't have the auto exposure setting um, correctly. I, I had it on. It should have been turned off. It's also um, there's a lot of blurriness. Um, I don't think I focused properly. Uh, so I apologize. It does get better. It does get better later on in the video. So here I'm uh, penciling out the drawing. But before that, I, I cover the surface of, of the painting board um, with acrylic medium. Um, it's it's uh, mid-tone, half raw sienna no i'm sorry raw umber and white uh, and i cover the whole surface with with that with that mid-tone um, and now i'm going in and blocking out the shadows i'm using again raw raw umber not sienna raw umber and um, i like to do the shadows first or the dark areas first block that out because it'll tell me if the composition works um, and also like if the if the figure or the vocal element if I silhouette it um, the silhouette will look good um, it uh, it helps me you know troubleshoot troubleshoot some composition problems This video is um, just the underpainting. Um, actually, one part one of the underpainting. Um, I think it only shows the face and the the body, the shoulders, um, and the neck. Um, I get into the hair um, in another video. I wanted to show the underpainting process that I go through. It takes several days um, because I don't work on it too long, maybe two hours, two and a half hours um, at a time. I like to let it dry completely before, you know, working on it um, in the next session. I like doing the underpainting first um, it's sort of like a value study I like to figure out the value first that's my that's my strongest strength strongest strength strongest strength that doesn't sound right anyways that's my strength um, value so I like to nail that first um, I, I like to separate um, the value part of the painting and the color part of the, the coloring part of the painting because if you do it all at once well if I do it all at once um, I, I get I get mixed up I get confused so um, I use the technique of um, doing a value underpainting first and then color glazing um, after that's that's sort of my my process and it's just because I I'm, I'm not very good at doing it all at once some some artists are amazing they can do it all at once but I am not um, we just went into the second day so that was the first first day and I think that was about two and a half hours um, going into like defining the shadows even more still using only raw umber and white and I'm using acrylic um, golden brand called golden fluid acrylic and I thin it out with um, um, some medium I, I mix a container of golden's airbrush medium and I put a few drops of the um, uh, retarder that um, helps the paint stay open so I can work on it a little bit longer um, lets me blend it out you know a little bit better 
Um, and when I say blending, it's not really blending with another, another color or another, you know, um, wet painted, painted area. It's more like blending out um, the wet paint onto the dry surface. Um, that's, that's how I blend um, um, initially. Eventually, it, like, it, it's, I can blend color to color, but initially it's just kind of blending it out, fading it out. Um, and I like, to, I like to fade out the edges so that um, it's easier to keep working later on if, if you let it dry out that, that that edge dry it's really hard to um, fix that if you didn't mean to do it so I'll put um, you know some paint down and I'll blend it out fade it out knowing that there's not going to be some edge um, and I come back to it and it's easier to to, to keep working on it With uh, acrylic, it's it's sort of like race uh, race against drying time. You you want to you know work as fast as you can, and once it starts getting little dry, little tacky, you have to stop, um, or it, you'll mess it up even further. Um, so we are on the third day, and I'm still still messing with shadows, and um, Hopefully I'm getting into um, making the skin tone, the shadow and the light areas more blended and less patchy. Um, yeah, I'm using I'm I'm using a lot of white. Uh, well, actually, it's white and raw umber mixed. We're not doing straight white um, and. What we're doing is we're kind of mixing the mid-tones um, close to the color where the where the dark raw umber layers were put. So it's it's kind of hard to explain. I'm trying to match the color and go over it again um, with the same value um, so that I can get rid of the patchiness and it starts to look a little smoother and a um, little less textured. I, I hope that made sense. Um, I'm using a small round brush now and I'm just going in there and just trying to match it, trying to make it um, make it blend without actual blending and I'm still using the second brush as a blender um, sometimes I would put down too much paint so I need that second brush to like pick it up um, or spread it out to where I want it to go I know this process look looks a little meticulous and I mean why why do it now why not do it in the color stage um, like I said it, I'm I'm stronger um, doing values so I, I put as much detail in now um, so I don't have to fight it when when I'm coloring um, I'm hoping that the coloring process is, is is an easier process and not doesn't happen all the time sometimes it's uh, I will wipe out the whole thing with a coloring layer and have to redo everything um, but um, this is this has worked for me so far the best sometimes um, some days I'll, I'll have multiple sessions so I recorded the whole process and it's um, sped up obviously and and this is just the face neck and shoulder 
I, like I said before, I have a separate video for the hair, which I, I hope to post um, next next few days. The hair gets a little crazy. It's 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 uh it's gonna be super curly, um, and it it took a long time, and I don't know if anybody will watch the whole thing, um, but um, it's recorded and it's gonna be it's gonna be posted. I have no idea what what I will be talking in a voice of over. Um, we'll see. So she's starting to look a lot more blended, um, and we're still still blending. We're still. Trying to make her less patchy. Um, so, some some things about my setup. Um, I I have these little plastic containers. I put the paint in, and and they have a they have a top top, uh, um, and so it's um, I guess it's airtight. Maybe I'm not sure, um, but I I. Um, I put the colors that I use a lot. I use a lot of raw umber, um, a lot of um, white, obviously, and I also mixed a mid-tone, the, actually the color of the background, and I have that in a, in a separate container, so I don't have to keep mixing that mid-tone. Um, and I put a little bit of airbrush medium in it and, and, and mix it um, so that it I can keep using it um, and yeah every once in a while I have to wash it out clean it out but I just keep refilling the container um, and that way I'm not wasting a lot of paint um, and it's it's always ready to go I don't have to put it up Put it out on my on my palette, and then I just I just have a small palette, as you can see in the in the video, that I I use to uh, mix mix the paint, and also to um, load the brush the way I, I want it loaded, and um, as a result, um, I end up not using a lot of paint, and it's easy to travel with. Other things in my painting toolkit is um, is a mister, um, and I have a large one and a small one. In the small one, I I put a few drops of extender, um, and I use that to spray the paint on my palette um, to keep it keep it uh, moist, so I can keep working on it. And adding extender, you know, it, it keeps it open. Little bit longer. I also have two containers um, for water one for cleaning and one for um, just getting clean water. Um, the, the cleaning one has one of those mesh at the bottom, so the it's easy to clean the brush. use the clean water too much I I have a container of like I said earlier I have a container of airbrush medium and um, with a little bit of um, extender in it I use that to thin out the paint um, so that I know that the paint is is on there but I can I can use it uh, thinly I can use it um, um, as a glaze and um, if you just use water it, the pigment might just scrape off so um, yeah I mean I, I still use the clean water but not as not as much I'm, I'm finding out I think the video is a little better now. I think I figured out at this point 
to turn off the the auto ex exposure and I think I focused it better. I think I also found out that there was a high um, higher quality setting. Um, so hopefully it's it's looking a little better. I think this might be the th oh here we go. No, this one. Okay, so this is the last day. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I realized um, looking at it that day that I I went a little too dark with the with the underpainting. Um, I tend to do that, and I always regret it because once I get in the coloring stage, I have to lighten it up quite a bit. I I just I just went too dark. So I'm I'm lightening up. Um, what I did the, the day before. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if I did figure out the auto exposure setting at this point. It seems to be still flashing a little bit. Um, but I, th I think it's it's looking a little better. Eventually I'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm still using a small round brush and meticulously um, trying to blend out the the paint I put down with a second brush and I think yeah this is this is coming to an end pretty soon anyways um, I, I hope you're still watching if if, um, if you are thanks for watching this very long video um, and hopefully I will have the next one up um, in a few days um, it'll be the hair um, lots and lots of curly hair and that's just uh, I guess watch it till the end oh and I would also like to mention that this uh, video is sponsored by my patrons thank you Tara Kimberly Sandra and my BFF Carolina and um, new patron Michelle thank you so much My BFF Carolina Labara, she's an amazing artist. Um, we paint together uh, Friday nights on, on her Instagram um, account. Her account is um, artist.carolinalabar. I will put that in the, uh, in the video descriptions. If you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments. My website is erikataguchi.com. I also have an Etsy store, erikataguchi.com. No, erikataguchi.etsy.com. And I'm also on Patreon, patreon.com slash erikataguchi. Um, thank you. Bye.